we hear, and unfortunately hear about these events way too often, and you see it on the news, you read about it, and then we can kind of move on with our lives. But to actually be there and and feel that sense of loss really, really does change you, and it changes your perspective on, on the, these things that we hear about way too often. Jana Gabrion recently took a trip to Uvalde, Texas with her 10-year-old daughter Izzy. Izzy, a dancer, had been invited there along with eight other members of Naperville-based nonprofit Dance On to perform for a community rebuilding event. The trip took place September 23rd and September 24th, just four months after the city went through one of the deadliest school shootings in our nation's history. The Dance On performers joined members of the Joffrey Ballet to dance for children in the Uvalde community after receiving a special invite. We were asked by um, the head of Joffrey's youth ballet program, Joe Mattis, um, who is just a, a force of nature, um, to respond to the, um, the senseless tragedy that occurred there a few months ago um, with the loss of life um, from the students. She had asked us to kind of put together a younger team, um, one with kids that could potentially um, communicate better um, with, with the children that we were gonna perform for. While in Uvalde, the group performed for three different schools in a group at the El Progreso Memorial Library. They weren't sure exactly what to expect from their audience. You don't know how they're going to react and obviously you think a kindergartner is going to react differently than a fifth and sixth grader and even the fifth and sixth graders and as we were watching them perform i know all of us parents in the back were thinking many of the students who were watching this piece were, were in those classrooms on that tragic day and they were just um you know woohooing and high-fiving and so excited to, to watch the piece and then even got to come up on stage after and do some dancing with our kids and they they just loved that part of it. While there, the group also got the chance to add their own creative touch to a mural of remembrance. Two of our parents happened to be just walking through the town to kind of just get a sense for it and, and came upon um, muralists working on a new design on one of the buildings um, that was going to represent children and, and, and adults that were lost, and they allowed us to come back and actually add a few brush strokes to this mural. The outpouring of kindness they received upon their arrival was unexpected and unforgettable. We weren't going there expecting anything in return. Uh, we were going there to give them our gift, and everything from the, the teddy bear, kids giving our kids bracelets they had made, they, um, the the town paid for our entire group of 22 to attend their high school football game that Friday. Before the group left Uvalde, they returned the favor with some members of the crew staying up until 1 a.m. making over 100 specialized bracelets from quickly bought supplies to hand out. The bracelets <laughs> had words like, you know, Uvalde strong or love or, you know, whatever the words that uh, were used by the kids. I think that was I, I want to say it was not so much as a gift as it was of I'm connected to you now. We are in this together. Watching her daughter make those connections, knowing she's the same age as some of the victims, had a lasting impact on Jana. To our kids up there dancing was really something that I'll never forget. Um, it they were they were craving that that support, and I love the way Greg says it the best when he says we were there to give them a hug via dance. For Naperville News 17, I'm Anthony Yench.